Good mythical afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. This is Mr. Ayala with another vlog for you. As always, please make sure that you're writing down your notes and that you complete the vlog question on the doobly-doo for this week. Uh, as always, sit back, relax, enjoy this one. It's a little bit shorter than usual, but that should be good for you. As always, uh, this is Manners. The Economics of Feudalism and Mr. Yala presentation. So, what we're going to begin with is what a manor is. Well, we know that it is the economic side of feudalism. And what this was, this is the manor was the Lord's estate or home. So this is kind of where they live. Uh, the manor is the basic eco economic structure of Europe during this time period. All, almost all economic activities were in this area. Trade did decrease because there were not very many safe roads. We already talked about the barbarians and those issues. And what this did, this set an idea of mutual responsibility and obligation to each other. So just like the idea of feudalism and how everyone owed someone or were obligated for someone else, uh, the manners were the same way. Certain groups had certain obligations to each other. For example, um, the lords gave protection, housing, and farmlands to the serfs. While the serfs, on the other hand, tended the Lord's farmland and animals, and they paid taxes and goods. And also, serfs owned their Lord's specific duty. So maybe a wall. So maybe once a week, they need to work on fixing the wall around the, the manor, or maybe they need to help uh, build the church bell tower every two weeks, something like that. Uh, this is more or less what a manor looked like. If you notice in the middle, we got church, the parson's house where the church lived. There's the village over here, the Lord's Manor, which is right here. They had oven, barn, meadows, marshes, common pastures. There's a mill in there. There's a blacksmith house. Everything's kind of self-contained. So life on the manor itself. So most people did not move more than 25 miles away from the manor that they were born into. People really didn't move very often or very far because of the security issue. And the manor, like I was saying earlier, was a self-contained community. Including church, a mill, for that they can make, turn uh, their crops into bread, into flour and stuff to make bread. The manor house, farms, cottages, common pasture, blacksmiths, and other items. Uh, taxes were extremely high at the manor because of the increased safety. If you want, if you want those security options, you want that um, that service, you need to pay for it. Just like in our society, we pay for the safety of the country through our taxes. Uh, they had to pay a, also. They also had to pay a tithe or tax to the church too, which was approximately ten percent of their crops. So if you look at it, not only are they paying high taxes to the man, the lord of the manor, they're also paying high taxes to the um, the church at that time. So not very much money or food went back to the serfs itself. And the life for serfs in general were work, 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 and more work. Life was extremely difficult and hard, but it was safer. You weren't concerned about barbarians invading as much or uh, random lo other lords attacking you because of being in a manor and having those walls and having that increased safety of having the military nearby. Like I said, it's real short. So here's the vlog question for this today. And then do believe what were two of the obligations that the Lord had to give to their had to their serfs? Or if you want to go in the other direction, what were two obligations that the Lord that the serfs had to their Lord? Please put that that in the doobly doo. And as always, don't forget to be awesome.